This is- podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. I always do Scottish. We do something different. Uh, do uh, Mongolian. Uh, well, this podcast is brought to you by Sunday Cool. Kind of sound like an old Barbosa. Oh, I don't believe in ghost stories, Miss <laughs> You're in one. Oh, watch this or listen. Hey, Josh. Yeah, Andy? My head's cold. <laughs> well, take this. What's this? It's our Black Sunday cool beanie. Wow, it's super soft. <laughs> I know, right? And what's this on the front? That's a customizable leatherette patch. Wait, are you telling me I can order these black beanies from Sunday Cool and put my own logo or design on this patch? You sure can. If you're a Ninjas or Butterflies listener, you can get them for only $9.99 each. Wow, (laughs) that sounds like a pretty good deal. You can say that again. So go to sundaycool.com forward slash promo and order your group's custom merch today. Um, hey Josh? Yeah, Andy? Thanks for being my friend. (laughs) All right. <laughs> Let's get back to the show. It's crazy how college won't be truly the automatic way of life in 20 years from now. Like yeah. it's not like people just won't be able to, oh, I'm going to go drop off my kids at college. It's like, no, they log on to college. See, now. I. Yeah, Josh and I have different opinions about this. I yeah. am. I am. I'm not pro college at all okay not at all yeah depends on what profession like if you want to be a doctor you're saying yeah continue. or a uh engineer Mm -hmm. or a scientist maybe law enforcement law yeah 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 Yeah, i think there's just certain certain jobs that you should go to college you need to be in when people go to college for like business i'm just gonna like "Mm." yeah so that's like a personal tech Anywho. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because like you you said you learn more working at Sunday Cool than you ever did at college. It's true, but it's just because I wasn't a disciplined student. But and also mm. <laughs> it's also because Sunday Cool um gives so much opportunity for learning and it contextualizes what you're learning in college, you know. So you mm. can you can have like a vocab word that you learn in school and like this is that, but now I'm literally applying it. So yeah. if I went back to school right now, I feel like it would be so enriching because I've been working inside and on a business. I think that'd be silly to go back to school though. I'm gonna do it, just so you know. I'm but finishing. don't you think there are affordable free resources online? A thousand percent. That you can easily go and find all that information, especially yeah. if you already have a strong foundation. So Josh and I have to align on how we're going to present this to the girls Mm -hmm. before they're of age to be asking these questions. Because my thing is, I think it's important to be pushing your children toward something like when they totally like. And so my first thought is, you know, the number one idea would be go off to college, get some experience, meet some friends, live away from home, you know, whatever that looks like if they want to. Um, I think that's what, or or pitch to us what you want to do. Yeah, but college is to, just the automatic option. Yeah, it's the preset. Yeah, I I, I encourage I'm going to encourage them to find a trade, or to go do internships at different places. Mm-hmm. Um, we need to be a united front. Okay. I think, I think, <laughs> I mean, there's also, there's You're also a really long ways away. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's power to the networking though. So if your kid, you know, can find a way to go to school for free, yeah, it's not a bad call to like, I'm going to spend mm-hmm. two years getting to like, I, I got my AA in high school and yeah. then I spent a year and a half entirely scholarship, just trying different degrees. I did studio art. Yeah. 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 I learned to draw. I that's did that, video that's the editing. Kicker. If they yeah. can get, uh, cause I don't want them to. Go into debt, go into college. Yeah, true. Anything you're doing, you probably shouldn't be going into debt unless obviously there's a unless financial plan already. Bowflex. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm still waiting on the return. It's been fifteen years, but it's gonna be a <laughs> boom in twenty twenty four, I've heard. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Um Alex Jones told me that. hmm Nice. Yep. Do you want a song? Yes. <gasps> did you go to college for this? I did. The podcasting? Ten years. Wow, 10 years. That's mm-hmm. even more than a doctor. I know, because it's that important. 
what we do on Saves this podcast lives. is more important than any doctor. Some would say. Yeah, I would. <sighs> How does that sound? Mm. I like that. Whoa. Num, num, num. What was that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling. Oh, we'll just go for it. All right, here we go. was late at night in Tennessee Went out to go pee And then I saw something Above the trees Saw a shining star For I knew it, it took me all while I was going pee The star started to move left to right I think I know what it was that night It was a UFO I peed on my foot Yeah. Ran inside and hid under blankets. I saw a UFO that night. Yeah, yeah. Ninjas are butterflies. UFOs in my eyes. And pee on my. Good. The harmonica. That was beautiful. That was. <laughs> that was I, hard. I loved your voice in that one. That was so fun. <laughs> trying to do a little Neil Young. It's hard. Oh, on this harvest, harvest moon. Oh, um, take a look at my life. I did see something that night. Believe me. I believe it, and I think we all believe it. Yeah. <sighs> Except for. I believe it. Sure. I believe it. Speaking of being believing, being in believing. And being believed. Shh. And a question. Today's question is a very, very important question. It's so important that I want you to use your intuition to answer the question before I ask it. Oh, no. We need you to lock in your answer. It's a yes or to no. To lock in your answer, <laughs> yes or no, because of the importance of this question. You, so, know, you know it deep down in your heart What the right answer is Yes or no, Lily Oh, I don't ask a question? No, you have to lock in your answer Oh, come on Try to try to understand what do you think this question is Lock it in, go with your heart I'm gonna say Yes Wow Whoa. Okay <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Okay. well you're, That's what you're going with, yes Yes really? Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's because, insane. because the question was, Lily, are nurses evil? Oh. Why would you say the <laughs> yes? Lily? You think nurses are evil? No. What in the world? That's crazy. What you, you you just said yes though. <clears throat> Do you not? I guess I telepathed the wrong answer. Do you, you want, want to change your answer? Yeah, I think that nurses are not so, evil. No, so it's You're a saying, yes or no question. No, they're not evil. No, yes or no question. No. Interesting, because the real question was, should nurses have the day off? You don't think they should? They work very hard, Lily. Lily, what oh, in the God. world? Golly, so you... apparently Lily thinks nurses are evil and that they should never have a day off? I say she's evil now. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> Welcome to the oh, show. No, <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most you were martial arts! Fuck it, Jonathan! Take it!
take it easy. Hey, hey. hey that's my wife. Hey. <laughs> oh. um, that's my wife. Yep. Gotcha. Wow. Consider me God. <laughs> you got God. I can't believe she has no respect for anybody in the medical field. Yeah, that's, that's what's crazy to I me. I totally do. Yeah. I totally As I the don't. factory of women over there. <laughs> Easy. Okay, sorry. She did self described. <laughs> God. That's a retro reference. Um how's everyone? Oh can you turn them down just a hair? It is a little bit loud. <laughs> like, this is like the routine we go through where you're like, I'm barely talking because we haven't started, so you turn me up. And then you get into it and you're like, Wow, it's loud. Um, how's everyone? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. I've got my I've got water. I've got me water. In his employee of the month cup because hey. he got employee of the month for October. Yep. What does it say? It says employee of the month. What does it say? It says fatherless employee of the month. Say it. Read it. Fatherless employee of the month. There Yay. it is. Wow. It's in stone. Engraved. But you do have a father and he's in heaven. Ah. Watching over you. <laughs> Living water. Ayo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. Um, yo, last week was crazy. What happened? Yeah. Blurry. Oh, blurry. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Golly, These guys man. were so fun. Yeah. And, and we, we don't know the response yet because it drops in a couple days. Yeah. And so we don't know if people loved it or hated it. And yeah. I'm, we loved it. We had yeah. a blast. It's the longest episode that we've ever dropped. Honestly, yeah. I don't care if they loved or hated it. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. And no, I, bet, I really did love it. Yeah. And there's probably some people listening now that just found us last week. Yeah. yeah. Because welcome. we were Blair fans. Welcome, welcome, welcome. guys. Welcome. Hi. What, what Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, look up here. Hi, yeah, how are and you? And gone. And uh, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Oh, big stretch. Hi, big stretch. <laughs> big yawn. Wow. Um, what do you? What do you? Um, what would you like to prep them with? How How is this podcast different? If the people are just now finding this podcast, um, how would you pitch this? We're show to them? way less intelligent than um, Nate and Luke. Nate and Luke. Everybody. Yeah, a lot of people. They They use <laughs> such big words. <laughs> They're like, I was going to joke that Luke, when he talks, because he like made a thing about like how C.S. Lewis, when he writes, it's like so dense. Mm -hmm. That's how he talks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, whoa, you know? That's what college um, does to you. And that's what scares Josh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, was, I was about to make that <laughs> joke. Using them yeah. fancy words. I don't like it. No, but after interviewing them, I'm like, maybe I should read more <laughs> to expand Same. my vocabulary. Same. Just get like a word of the day app. Yeah. yeah. Let's get Wordle. Let's play Wordle. What is that? It's a game. Oh, that's like the Scrabble thing. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> okay. Have you seen uh, what is that um, on on um, the Office when Aaron's like, uh, I have started the, my New Year's resolution is to learn a new word every day, and I have to say it is going immensely. <laughs> 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 Just using it completely wrong. Do you remember from Parks and Rec too, where uh, Andy he's like playing Sudoku? I can't remember. And he's like, this is so easy. Yeah. He's like, two, five, eight, <laughs> seven, done. <laughs> he's just writing in numbers. So funny. Oh, let's talk more about shows. Let's do it. No, but for real, we did watch the David Beckham oh my thing on Netflix. Yeah. It was awesome. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm still digesting it. I don't know what I'm going to regurgitate out of it. Dude, he is a model of a man. Really? Yeah. What literally. do you mean? Like, like. Oh, character wise no. no oh got it <laughs> attraction like, like, wise. <laughs> like he looks like orlando bloom playing yeah. soccer yeah i yeah. told i told josh that like when you were at your like high school college peak you were way hotter than david Beckham. hey but look at me now no hey. and you still are <laughs> what a supportive hey life. remember that one time um you look at me! remember that <laughs> stop remember that one time you peaked out you were really good looking then stop um I don't. I don't know how to feel. I the documentary gave me a lot of respect for Victoria Beckham because I just think that she's a pillar of strength and she's like the essence of motherhood. She does come from a working class family. Yeah, that was the yeah, funniest that was, thing. That was so funny. Yeah, yeah, I heard that, right? yeah, yeah, that was so funny. Where she's like um, talking about coming from a working class family, and David sticks his head in the door. He's like, "Be honest." He's like, <laughs> "That's pretty good." What did your dad uh, drive you to school in? It's no, like, I don't. Like, I just, no, just, it's, it's not. It's the same. It's just, he's like, be honest. <laughs> be honest. In the 80s. In the 80s, what did your dad drive you to school in? And she's like, well, my dad had a Rolls Royce. So <laughs> he's like, thank you. <laughs> As all working fa class families did. Oh, but it was crazy. Like, he got signed on uh, by Man U, I think, when he was 12. <laughs> Yeah, Manchester what? United. That's how it always is over there. Yeah. I know, but like well, kind of like farming system. Yeah. So like they're just like it's just whenever you when you when they you're see of age, potential. But like whenever you're of age, you come play with us. Like 
Or what is, how does that work? No, is no, he, they, is they he training? Like, they, yeah, he starts that's, training oh with them. That's like, what's so cool about European football clubs is they have developmental leagues that uh-huh. literally bleed into their first team. Oh, so okay. it'd be like the Miami Dolphins have a middle school that they sponsor, but they put all of their coaching and resources into making that middle school Got team it. like everything it can be. That's we, what the like the Williams sisters did. Like they were like or didn't do. The, apparently, like whenever you're really young, the, you you do um, certain matches and stuff. And oh. the dad was like, "No, they're going to be kids. They're yeah. going to go to school. Oh, they're cool. going to get good grades. They're going to do this, but they're going to work hard." But he was like those fine lines, and everyone was like, "You can't." Yeah, yeah. Go and play Wimbledon if you haven't done these for the yeah. years. Dude, I, like, nah. I know I'm derailing a little bit from the documentary, so we'll get back to it. But do you hear how Messi was signed? That the guy who signed him didn't have the authority to do it, but knew that they needed him. So he wrote, dad was like, if Messi's going to go from Argentina to Barcelona, he was like, we need a contract. Like, I'm not agreeing to this. We're not going to go down the road. So he took out a napkin and signed his name and said, sign here. And so the official contract that brought Messi from Argentina to Barcelona was literally wow. a wow. dinner wow. napkin. That's kinda interesting. Like, I think he was 12. <laughs> kind of like that Elvis guy when they, um, his manager, that's what they did. They wrote oh, yeah. literally like, you said that Elvis the, guy? Elvis guy. <laughs> Elvis? Elvis. <laughs> what did I say? Elvis? <laughs> no, you just said that Elvis guy. Oh, yeah, As like the manager. Like the but I said famous. his manager. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's just also interesting. And they tried to pick on his dad, like make it kind of like a Tiger Woods dad thing. I feel like that he was mm. just really pressured into this whole lifestyle yeah but to me that didn't seem authentic did they have I, a good relationship yeah. yeah yeah i think that it was more like just a your standard english childhood yeah like not a lot of compliments well or feelings my buddy not my buddy a kid that used to play on my soccer team his name is graham duffy and he's mm-hmm. from glasgow scotland mm-hmm. and his team they were die hard uh glasgow rangers fans yeah like and that's all he, he wanted to go play for the rangers and in Glasgow, they have a rival team. It's the Celtic uh, FC football club. And he didn't make it onto the Rangers C team or whatever it was, but the Celtic wanted him. And so he, he switched? No, he said, absolutely not. Really? And then they moved to the U.S. and he started playing on our team. Whoa. Yeah. So funny. And That's he was, he was intense it was. That's was wild. So Dude, open speaking. I, I just think you guys need to understand like how crazy European uh, soccer is. Open your phones right now. This wasn't going to be the real I shared, but this just sets up the context for how crazy fanhood is in European countries. Volume. Wow. Says we sold my dad's motorbike. We sold my dad's PlayStation to be here. We wow. don't even have tickets. The passion in his eyes. Is like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is the best thing ever. I'm, I'm really hoping with like Messi coming over here that like the – U.S. Soccer League starts getting on par with, like, the European Soccer well, League. and It's already competitive. You saw the first couple of games. Yeah. And it just shows that, like, people have to be pushed to reach their potential because yeah. the first few games, they steamrolled them. And then the next few teams were, like, different mindset going in. They're like, we have to be our best. Yeah. Well, they talked about when David Beckham got signed on by the L.A. Galaxy mm-hmm. and came over to the U.S., his contract was $250 million to come play for the Galaxy. Dude, I did not know that. Yeah. And um, there's some... Uh, the majority of the team, it was like their second job. Yeah. They all had normal jobs. Like one of them was like an electrician, and Dang. like the, and the pool guy. That's what they keep yeah, saying. Yeah, pool I'm guy. With the pool guy and the electrician. And like the Galaxy was only paying them like thirteen thousand dollars a year. Holy! And then you get shoot. David Beckham coming in, who was paid two hundred fifty million dollars. <laughs> and David, they showed because his first game he was on the bench because like he came in like halfway through the season or something, <clears throat> so he didn't start. Which is crazy. That's so funny. But he was sitting there, and it was so funny to watch him, like, contemplate Observing. why yeah. he came to the MLS because it was just, like, not yeah. on par with, like, what he's used to. Man. And he's just sitting on the bench like this, like, mm. That's all <laughs> like, in the documentary? Yeah. He's like, yeah. what have I done? Dude. But then he goes, it. and Milan asks him to go play for, like, one of their whatever on his on their yeah. team, and he's like, finally do. Like, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, and he wanted to stay over at, at, in uh, Milan. Yeah, and the LA Galaxy guy is like, he's like, nope, we not. own you. We <laughs> literally <laughs> own you. Was he AC Milan or Inter? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Well, Inter Milan. It no, was, yeah, it AC. was Inter Milan. Yeah. Blue or red jersey? It was red, red and black. AC. Yeah, AC. Oh. DC. You could have asked me. A lot of these people, <laughs> they're like, well, let's, let's stop talking about soccer. <laughs> anyway, I thought <laughs> it was so oh, interesting. Let's talk about basketball or golf. Oh, or <laughs> this is a sports podcast. Yeah, welcome back, guys. It's kind of funny because you're wearing that. I know. I, 
I am a part of a football club. Football club. Um, speaking of football, okay, I have a lot to talk about today. Hit me. Um, Hit me, baby. I saw this TikTok of this guy <laughs> who was going through. It was the most fascinating thing, and I've never thought about this. How people think differently in the sense of like they they did all this like test testing or whatever. I'm totally going to butcher what this guy said. Um, but he's like how people process things. He says he didn't know that. And I didn't know this either. Um, a lot of people, when they, when you say like, uh, think of an apple, yeah, you, a lot of people, they actually physically see an apple in their head. Yeah. I've seen, yeah, I've seen that. But there's some people in the world that literally can't imagine things. Like they can't make a picture in their head. And a lot of people don't even have an inner monologue. Like, so if like, if like something happened or they're like, how do you feel about that? Instead of like, you're just going to think about it and you have that inner monologue, you know, like, how am I going to answer this? Some people don't have that. Well, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Is that more of like, is that kind of like a left brain, right brain kind of thing? No, it's just like a, there's research on like people with ADHD and neurodivergence, but like people who don't process stuff externally like in spatial thinking typically are just like in the moment and people who are spatial thinkers like i know you are because every time you're start starting to make a point you look up yeah and there's like that indicator but like you have dyslexia or like you switch words yeah. but they say that that comes from people who take a letter visualize it in front of them but they don't just see it flat they see it as a three-dimensional object and so the object they're actually in their spatial thinking circling it and so if you pull oh. out of that at the wrong moment, you yeah. know, the letter could be flip-flopped, like a nine or a six. Yeah, that's wild. So You're it's a, a freak. <laughs> the challenge is to like know when to tap into that skill and then when to pull information out of that spatial bubble. And it's just, I found it so fascinating that like, like you, there's some people in this world that will be like, think of an apple. Yeah. And they'd be like, mm, I can't. I'm thinking of 18 different colors right now. I have an apple in my mind that's riding a unicorn <laughs> that's using a leaf blower <laughs> eating cotton candy. Um, nice. Like it could like that's wild. Yeah. That's I just I thought that was so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> People think differently. Think of an apple. Think what color different. is it? Red. It's always a red one, right? It's always red. Yeah. For you? Yeah. yeah. Red. What's that'd be, de- that'd be interesting. If Blue. it's green, ah! are, if it's green <laughs> are you evil? Mm. Ooh, could be, could be. Interesting. I thought of an apple pie. What happens? What happens when <laughs> you are reading dessert. a book and you do you ever do that where you're reading a line but you skip to the next few lines and you come back up and you do this and that? That's an indicator of both ADD and a brain that works faster than your eyes. I always have to Doctor Drew read a sentence like three <laughs> times while reading a book. That's why I hate reading books. See, people who do that they recommend sliding a page down because it mm-hmm. doesn't allow your li- eyes to jump to the next line. Well, for me, I just start thinking of something else while I'm reading. That's ADD. Right, right on. I love to read. I love you're it. you're a freak. Hey. <laughs> um, episode sixty four. Hey. hey. <laughs> what what energy are you at right now? Uh, because this is earlier than we did last week. Yeah. Oh. Um, not really because the time change. Yeah, so oh, yeah. that's right. So I feel really better. It's like eleven forty five. I'm at like an 83. It's been screwing me up, dude. Can we get rid of the time change? They're trying. It got passed in the uh, Senate. And now the house has to pass it. I feel like I've heard that before, though. Wait, yeah. would it, like would I feel it like we already got rid of it. Or the other time, I don't know. I like the other time better. Me too. Yeah, where it's uh, stays lighter outside longer. Yeah. Switching but, to that one, but is that's tough, just though. seasons, isn't it? That's what I've been trying to like reconcile. Yeah, yeah. Is like it's also just going to be darker more now because it's winter. Yeah. So yeah. we can't change that with time. Can we be you a time change? Do we know what we're signing up for, dude? Our calendar makes no sense. Like time count have you seen the thing that's going around about it we should just have 13 months and that's how it used to be yeah in four it's weeks going periods. off of the moon yeah yeah everybody name the 13th month oh oh man bro December. we need a t we need a t we don't have t's a tickle timber well it's like, tickle timber tick, tickle timber tickle timber <laughs> what what language are they deriving <laughs> from for like know. Oct- at the end of the year Octo, Novo, All tickle. i can deck. imagine latin Deca is 10. That's why December was, right? No. No, it's Tickle Timber. It's Tickle Timber for sure. <laughs> I like it. Right? Yeah. Tickle Timber. 
We always look forward to it. It's right, it's right after Christmas, right before New Year's. Mm-hmm. Get all your tickles <laughs> out. Okay, what if what if if we do go back, they like like people bid on the ability to name it, and we use all of Sunday Cool's budget <laughs> to bid on the name for the month, and we call it Nab Sember. Ooh, let's do it. Nab Sember. Nab Sember. I think we. I think I have the authority. We can. We can do that. What's your yeah. pitch? What's no, your pitch to Steve? Steve. Steve. Everybody has a calendar. It's like the sell me. <laughs> it's like sell me the pen kind of thing. It's like, yeah. so, so Steve, we have twelve months. Wouldn't it be great if we had one more? Am I, I right? Have you seen how to do that? Where you say sell me this pen. Okay, sell me this pen. Huh? You sell me the pen. Oh, okay. Can you write your name down? Yeah, I, um, can I borrow a pen? Tell you what. Twenty billion dollars in this pen's yours, and you can write your name down. <laughs> Dude, that's Son why of a you're, gun, the, you're hired. <laughs> that's why you're the boss. Yep. <clears throat> Dang. That's how I got this job. Um, <laughs> but speaking of selling a pen, eels. All right. Eels are the craziest things ever. I hate them because we don't know, like, how they're born. Yeah, I know this. What do you mean? Wait, what? I Aren't know they this. just regular fish? Nope. Regular they, old. They, they don't. They, they don't go. They don't have reproductive organs. Mm-mm. One. Okay. And they try to observe how eels come into existence. Right. And so these eels, they'll live in lakes and rivers and stuff. And then like once a year or something, they'll go out into the ocean mm-hmm. and go like deep, deep down to the ocean. Like into trenches and stuff. And then more eels will come out of the bottom of the ocean and back into the rivers and lakes. And then that just process repeats. But they've never been able to observe how eels are born. They're just intensely private. There's no way we don't know. (laughs) We don't know. What about in aquariums? It says they know, but I, I can't find anything about being observed. That's yeah. crazy. That yeah. we've never even witnessed it? No. We've you never see a eel being born. What if they just got a bunch of machines down there? What if they're the aliens? What if they are? I mean, well like they, we talk about aliens coming from the sea. What if they're diving down there? They're touching some nuclear stuff that we don't even know about and they're just duplicating. Mhm. Eels are terrifying. Dude, you yeah. know, and the majority of the lakes around here, there's eels in the lakes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because ch- there's a way to the ocean. I got chased by a moor eel. I think I've told that story on the horrifying. podcast. You guys know what a moor eel is? I've, That's the yeah. big one, the yeah. big green one? You know, it's yeah. like a, or they can be different colors, but they got big teeth. But I was in Hawaii, and there was like a little rock, and it came out of the rock. My aunt saw it and rushed the water and chased it away before it got to me. But I guess I got too close. Dude. How do they produce electricity, too? Yeah. That I have no idea. Do they, for. or is that from animation? That's, yeah, no, no, they no, do. No, no, I know there's an electric eel, and I know there's an electric feel. Say, ooh, go. Okay. Um, <laughs> but nice. there's... There's like, I mean, like, cause it's like, like uh, a yeah, quicksand know. and stuff. Like as kids, like when we're watching yeah. movies and like, yeah. oh, this is a big deal. I, I know there is such a thing as electric eel, but it's like, how does that work? I just typed in electric eel. How? <laughs> <laughs> Please explain. Electric eel. How? <laughs> how is this here? Um, yeah, but they're, I, they're like little demon. That's so. Maybe yeah, it's I mean, not electricity. Maybe it's just like poison. that feels like electricity. No, they put off a current. Yeah. 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 That's I was I saw like, what the heck I saw a scan. It was like of when an egg um, is fertilized, egg yeah. dude, and how there's literally if you look at it, there's a scan and it lights up like a shock of electricity. Yeah, have you in seen a that? human? In yeah. a human, when, and it is it's kind of cool. God when, is so cool. In the beginning, there when was life a light. Is conceived. <gasps> I mean, like Andy. if that's not the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, there's that video where it's like it's just dark, and then when it's conceived, it goes. Stop it. Yeah. It's yeah. nuts. It's so Ada cool. Ada did that. Janie did that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all did it. And yeah. I still do it. <laughs> I shine. Um, <laughs> can I, dude. Please edit me. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> insert dip to white. <gasps> I'm alive, uh, Hold baby. on. One, one good take. <laughs> there it is. Um, dude, I got a fun uh, animal fact. Have Let's you ever him. seen how, you know, like, it's, I don't know if they're called hermit crabs, but they're the crabs that actually have the shells that like actually crawl and they have homes and yep, stuff and right. they get bigger and they find a bigger shell. Do you know this fact that they, how they find their shells? You've told me this have before. I, dude, oh. it is bonkers. It's so weird. So you'll have one um, crab that will show up. Doesn't, it's too small for, I mean, too big for its shell. So it'll get out of its shell. Yeah. 
and it'll sit there or it'll just st- stay in the shell and it'll just lay down and it will wait till more crabs show up. Oh my gosh. And they get in order of size and every single time. And they do not exchange until everyone has one. <gasps> and you can see it happen where they're all in a line. And once everyone's there, they all switch. And then they just go on their merry way. Oh, it's it's like, the wildest thing, dude. Well, that sucks like, for the king. biggest guy. Yeah, where's the biggest one? Go? But that's the thing. Like, he find, like he he, he goes, goes and, and finds, finds it first. And I think he's the one that starts it. And so you can you can see how it all. Like, but they have it all on video. I got it. Come on. <laughs> You're like, kidding me. They're all like real estate agents. Yeah. I, you'll like this one. This is a two on two and two. <laughs> Very spacious in the back. <laughs> Great for family. A little cracked holes because a little kid threw this one, but it's fine. <laughs> um, Speaking of hermit crabs, though, I want to talk a little bit about the Vatican archives. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of... A lot so of, yeah. uh, Luke and Nate mentioned that they had someone on. This It was a lady, right, that like went... Supposedly yes, into the archives. Yes, she was allowed to look in the archives. Crazy. Oh, I want to hear more. I want to listen to that podcast and because, yeah. like, the video I saw, it's so rare for someone to be able to get access to the archives because of there's just so much in there. Mm-hmm. But in the 1920s, um, let me start off with this. What it said is this can't be 100% confirmed because you can't take stuff out of the archives, right? right. Or you yeah. can't even take pictures. Yeah. Um, but in the 1920s, there was a Russian professor. His name was Gingrich Ludwig. Gingrich Ludwig. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I guess he was able to have access to the archives. Um, what do you got to do to get access to the archives? I I, that's what I'm saying. He just It's literally was like, yeah, you just have to sign up. <laughs> it's like, you just got to ask Nobody nicely. signs up. <laughs> this guy down there just... The receptionist is the, like, the, I haven't the seen the clipboard. Like, mm. Every guy that you've ever passed with a clipboard and said no to, that's literally what it was. <laughs> they're like, please, just come visit. We have really cool books. But um, he said that there are there's 53 miles worth of shelving what? in the archives. Wait, how big is the Vatican? Uh, it's pretty <laughs> big. <laughs> they, they all have it just in one but bookshelf it, line. It doesn't mean, it doesn't, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, it could just be, like, back and forth and up. You know, yeah, no, that's like stacked. Please. You know? That's what I'm saying. I, imagine Lily's mind immediately just, like just went to one one tunnel. <laughs> Andy, though, it did, though. It did, though. <laughs> We're going to have to buy more property this way. It's like, no, just you could you can go higher with the shelving. <laughs> you go, no. How am I supposed help. to reach it? A ladder? Help. Shut up. Can I cut you off real quick? You, you already have. <laughs> but Okay. <laughs> There's something weird happening with my brain. The other day, Clarissa was over and somebody was asking me to do math. I pulled my calculator out and I was, I thought I was multiplying the numbers by the right numbers. Instead, she said she was observing me. I cleared out my calculator and I typed in the answer. That was correct. In your mind, your mind had already done it. My she mind had like, already done the math. She did like 135 times 13. It was, or whatever. It was 125 equals- times three. And I thought I was, which is kind of easy math. Like I'm not, whatever, but. Yeah, totally. But she like, <laughs> typed it in and then cleared it and then cleared typed it the and answer. Cleared it and typed the answer in. And I'm like, oh my gosh, am I Rain Man? Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Um, but yeah, he also reported that there are 35,000 catalogs, basically like books and like all, like just, it's just stacked. Yeah. And he was able, he walked uh, up on this one section which was, he called it the alien section. Oh, boy. So these ancient books about aliens and stuff. Um, it's but, not, not, what languages are they written in? Um, Latin. Golly. Dang, so you got to know, that's like well, one no, precursor. It was, it was Latin, Hebrew, Arabic. I mean, just like all these old ancient texts. But I think that it's primarily Latin. Korean. Um so if you want to get something out of it, you should probably know Latin. Yeah. Lily picks it up and just instantly just reads I'm it. I'm like, why <laughs> did they pick me? Why did they pick me? But he says the books in there are so old, they they have on record uh, 12 centuries of European history, which is nuts. I nuts. mean, that's like, it goes way back. Um, but he said he started reading through these books and he came across the craziest stuff. Oh my gosh. Where these, he they're calling them aliens, but that, that term wasn't coined yet, I don't yeah. think. Um but it was just like star people Creatures. or angels or people from space yeah. coming down in crafts. And they said like these books talked about how these star people taught um, all the ancient civilizations, different things. Like they taught um, the ancient people how to build the pyramids and taught the Mayans things and like all this crazy, crazy stuff. And then this is what I thought was the craziest part. So this was in 1920, right? Yeah. 
Um, this was before the nuclear bomb was made. So no one knew what a nuclear bomb would be, right? Oh, mm-hmm. boy. But he writes down that these things had these weapons, and he wrote it down. And today, we're like, those are nuclear weapons. <gasps> Basically, it talked about um, how they would use them. And I guess they used it once on uh, Babylon and it said that this weapon that these things possess melted the walls of Babylon with the amount of energy and heat that they produce. Is that historically accurate? Like, do we know about uh, I don't know. Ca- catastrophe in Babylon? I don't know. But I just thought that was insane. That's I'm just wild. like crazy. And I'm just like, why are they, why are they hiding this stuff? Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like, they probably know more about like what's happening now. I don't know. They're, I, yeah, like why can't we have access to those things? Like I understand. Like like, like I want to know why, the reason behind. Why it. is the? It just seems like the Roman Catholic Church is a little bit of like the gatekeepers. Yeah, of, they're like, gatekeeping. That's what they are. Of like information that. Well, it, it's proven that like whenever they didn't like something like the because there's good popes and bad popes throughout yeah. history. Some of them were really bad. And Good it was, popes, it was, bad popes. Uh, <laughs> well, really deemed like political. Like, so yes. they're like the political, like they were like the kings, you yeah. know, it was like the king and then the pope, but the pope really had more power than the king. Mm-hmm. Um, but they would take books out and they would change stuff that would fit the narrative of like what they wanted yeah. to be well, yeah, portrayed. I mean, like even just, you look at the reformation with Martin Luther. Exactly. He, he was like, you guys are, making yourselves important and it's Christ and Christ alone. Mm -hmm. So he was like, uh, we should transcribe this so they can understand it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not knocking the Roman Catholic church because I don't know too much about it. I'll knock it. But it is, we should never hold one man above all. No, no. A mortal man. Unless it is. Unless that man. Danny DeVito. Oh, Oh. I should have said Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito, Gordon Ramsay, tomato, tomato. Is it true that they have like, triggers inside those libraries that like take out oxygen what? like if there's a fire oh, i don't know oh they, they yeah, say probably, if there's, in a, yeah there's a fire in those uh, in the vatican like in the library they have thing where it like it just sucks out all the oxygen so if you're in there and something happens you're dead bro oh like, my yeah. gosh that's so interesting and i mean which that's a common I mean, thing in why like not? safes and stuff oh, yeah, really? that's a that's yeah, a yeah. that's a risk i sh- you should be willing to take yeah if yeah. you're going to go in there because like that stuff is sorry that's probably Really, that's really valuable stuff. That's one way to get God. Okay, you're invited to the Vatican Library. Sure. Or the Vatican as a whole. You've got 45 minutes. Oh, that's Ooh. not a lot of time. I know. It's a very short amount of time. Can you read Latin? Yes. You okay. ha- you are equipped with all necessary things to be able to take in information. What section that are you one. going to? You're going to the alien section? Absolutely. I want to know the history of the Catholic Church. I want to know the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if they wrote any of it down. I'm sure. I want the Pope's yeah. recipes. You're going to the kitchen? Grace casserole. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the Vatican. What's a what's a V word that starts with for food? I can't even think Vatican. of it. Vatican. I was make, trying to do some fun. Velvet Red cake. velvet cake. <laughs> the Vatican velvet cake. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was in 2007 or 2008. Um, there was a... UFO that appeared over the Vatican. Really? People got pictures of it. It was like a disc and it was like glowing orange and it was just like hovering above the Vatican. I think it was above like St. Peter's Cathedral or something. I don't know what it was. But I just, I'm like, dude, yeah. there's, I'm so, yeah. My thoughts aren't connecting fully, totally. but like, no, how could, like, that's the thing. How could it? Like, we have so yeah. many missing pieces. We have only, we, we only, the only thing we can do is try to connect dots. Yeah. I love the idea that aliens are like peeking out. Over the, like, see, I told you we're a funny half. Look at that. <laughs> um, Look at and I have another story that connects that story to this next story. But I will tell this next story. Don't say it. After the end! Don't go anywhere! Boop! Andy! What? Josh, what? I have some news. Oh, man, you're yelling, so it must be very important. It is. Okay, tell me. Black Friday is coming next Friday. Oh, no, but I have to go outside and wait in the cold, don't I? No, you don't, (gasps) because it's going to be online. That's incredible. SundayCoolSwag.com. What's going to be on there? Discounts on all the merch. There's going to be bundles, new stuff. Wow. Wow, look at it. Uh, What? 
Oh, it's on the, the screen. Stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, dude, is mad. <laughs> um, so go to SundayCoolSwag.com next week, next Friday, or go now and check out what you want to get when it's going to be on Black Friday for sale. Guys, get it now. I have to be. Okay. I need a witcher. A witcher. You guys see anything? You know uh, Bruce Lee's favorite drink? What? Um, fun fact. I learned about turtles recently. I saw somebody had like pet turtles and I've always wanted to have like a pet tortoise. You're about to tell me about the ones that are buried. Dude, did trip you see that? Out, trip me out. I was like, this is bull crap. So for those of you guys who don't know, these people have box turtles that chill in their backyard, I'm assuming, or they have an aquarium for it. And for five months out of the year, they dig a two-foot hole, place the turtles in the dirt, and then throw two feet of dirt on top of those turtles for five months. And they they, cut, they just come out fine, apparently. Dude, how, they're hi- hibernating. How do you, like, the first time you do that and you have this, like, affection for this creature? Yeah. You, you think like, this is just a prank? Like someone told you to do this exactly. and it's like, yeah. Like imagine that you just break the soil down in a few months and it's like just the smell hits you and you're like, that's where you realize it was a joke. Oh my gosh, dude. That would be so terrible. Like I just literally like the worst death, like dying in a casket. Yeah. I saw somebody do, it was cute. They went out with their kids and they grabbed, they told the kids to grow, grab a pine cone and make a wish and they put it. And then the next day they have a, a Christmas tree where the pine cone was. Oh, Clever. Cute. We were talking about those box turtles. Did you see those box turtles that uh, get buried? Box turtles? Yeah. Like people who own box turtles. They what hide, are box turtles? Like just regular just turtles. The oh, yeah, the okay. normal turtles. They get buried five months out of the year. Two feet down, you put the turtles in there, and then you put the dirt on top, and they hibernate. And they their, like, their heart rate and everything goes down so slow, they can exist with the oxygen within the soil. But you don't leave, you don't touch them for five months, and I'm like, this seems I, crazy. I watched, what? I watched yeah. it, thought it was bull crap. <laughs> looked like did a mini deep dive. Yeah, it was like that's it's a what real they do. thing, dude. It's in wild. The wild the world. They, it's it's in cold climates where they need to survive, like yeah. a freeze. They go down like two feet. Yo, where's I'm Lil? gonna start she, doing that? She dude. just lollygags a little bit. Yeah, Lily, Lily, Lily. <laughs> Ouch. Jeez, uh-huh. yeah. Right here. Ow! Very good. I just got a text from Walgreens saying that my insurance no longer covers my asthma medicine. Nice. That is the health industry. America Healthcare, where nothing ever works out. I love that Shane Gill is the free healthcare, where he was talking to his dad. He's like, Dad, why don't we, why don't why don't you support free healthcare? He's like, yeah. <laughs> So you kidding me? He's like. You go over to one of those countries and you sit in a waiting room for three days. And then they're joking like, yeah, you yeah. know what? I want to go into debt. I want to go into debt for America. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> That's what the founding fathers would have wanted. Yeah. Where is she, dude? Is it true that when you die, your debt passes on to your family? Yes. And I think that is the most messed up thing ever. How do you get rid of that? You pay it. <laughs> I mean, but like, no, I'm saying like, I mean, like, say you're, you're I'm in like, the hospital like for three weeks before I die and it was in my name under my life insurance or health insurance. That means Kelsey. Yeah. And my family has to pay that. Yeah. What if she like, Oh golly, you see that's one people you could probably, that, you could probably like argue it or like get rid of it. Yeah. But it would probably be really hard. Dude, I have, I, this is bad, but you know, those people that hit Kelsey and the girls last year. Yeah. They keep calling me like the hospital keeps calling me like, Hey, you have to pay like, it's like 300, 400 bucks. Yeah. I was like, I'm not paying anything. Yeah. Don't. It's like, go to collections, take me to jail. I'm like, this person who was under the influence hit my kids and my wife. I'm like, why would I pay anything ever? Yeah. And yeah. that's why I'm selling secrets, U.S. secrets. Yeah. Under the table, I'm committing treason. What is she doing? I don't know. Let's go find her. Hold on. I'll go look for her. Hey, take, take your video and just go yeah. find her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, could pl- we could put it in right here. What's the Mission Impossible theme song? Bum. Bum 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 diddly diddly do bum bum Lily, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Bum 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 bum. Sorry, sorry. 
Hey guys, I don't know if this is going to be in the podcast, but if it isn't, you should really join our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. What is Patreon? It's a platform that we're able to upload behind the scenes content, extra episodes, merch discounts, and specialized merch. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, everything's still rolling. Hey, For the middle of a podcast. Ay, ay, ay. I was talking That's to a... my friend Clarissa. Okay, well, not a good enough reason. Not a good enough reason at all. You know that TikTok trend where it goes, it's like two pictures and it's like, me and the devil. Nope. And they like show like, it's like a picture of them and then they slide and it's like a condition that they have. <laughs> like someone would be like, they chew their fingernails too much and it's like, they like show the Google screenshot of like what it's called. Okay. Mine would be, me and the devil. And it's like peas every 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a wife that abandons you in the middle of a podcast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You know what time it is? A question Quick, corner, question corner, question corner, corner with Ellie. With the questions are fresh on our mind. <laughs> um, both of my questions aren't very good, so I, I my that's my why school. I got two. So I have two. They're both equally not good. So one of them's Thanksgiving thing because I promised that we were gonna do Thanksgiving questions all throughout. Mm. The other one mm. is morbid. <laughs> would you eat? Would you rather eat? <laughs> A burnt Thanksgiving dinner or an undercooked Thanksgiving dinner? Overcooked, obviously. Yeah. I ain't, yeah. ain't eating no undercooked turkey. I'm a food safety police, but I feel like Josh always likes his a little on the edge. You, food safety police, but also didn't you like throw out something that was in a car? Like, Yeah, well, it was Ben that was, like, Reed. Very... Ben Reed got a cinnamon roll with mm -hmm. cream cheese icing and it sat in the car for like six hours. Oh, that's way too long. Never mind. I thought it was like 30 minutes. I that's way too long. I, maybe it was longer or shorter than that, but I threw it away and he was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, food safety, are you going to be sick? What's the worst thing to eat at undercooked at Thanksgiving? Turkey. Obviously turkey, turkey would be horrifying biting into a turkey leg and it just being raw. Yeah. What about like mashed potatoes, but it's like just like Ew, starchy like starch <laughs> potatoes. Yuck. Do you like um green beef like casserole. undercooked eggs? Yeah. Like yeah. runny eggs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kelsey doesn't like it, but I love it. I love undercooked eggs. Could you imagine if I used to eat like my mom would buy the Stouffer stuffing bags and I would eat the it dry cook. Yeah. Wow. I used to do ramen. Really good. Good. I used to do ramen yeah. do that. Like uh gross. Just, yeah. Like, you crumple it up and then you put a seat and you walk around. Chips. Dude, yeah. like the chips. Best. <laughs> Not like chips. Yeah, it yeah. Is. I crunchy, a, salty in a bag. You've never done chips. that? Never. Dude, that was a trend in like middle school though. It really like I mean yeah. like everyone was doing it. My yeah, parents we, never bought me ramen. When we lived in California, people like we'd have like grew up around just like culturally it was just completely different. So we had a bunch of white kids from Montana and they're like, Oh dude, pour this tahini on your candy, all this stuff, and it's like it would be in the ramen pack and you would have like four different flavors. Like, it was the best. <laughs> yeah. I had a homeless guy teach me that sugar on dry ramen makes it a breakfast bar. Mm. Ah, interesting. <laughs> That's funny. Interesting. Um, what was your next question? Okay, so I saw this. Jasenia, she used to work at Sunday Cool. She posted it on her story, and the f question to me was so funny, right? Okay, consider the situation. Your partner has been kidnapped. Got it. And has been taken to a place that's 30 minutes away. Okay. Do I have a particular set of skills? Yeah. Okay, cool. You're going to go get them. Okay. Do you listen to music on the drive over or not? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. You would, you would like. Welcome to the show. It would grind me out, dude. Like just listen to some ninjas of butterflies on the way there. Yeah. Ninjas on, maybe, ninjas on. Get to a dark place. Maybe if you like knew what you're like getting into yeah. and you like need to get like hyped. If you knew <clears throat> your wife is in a building kidnapped and there's four levels and you got to make it to the fourth level and with just you just got to fight yeah yeah you're listening to music dude I'll what are you listening do, to i do a vietnam track yeah Ran Ran Ran. Yeah. yeah. Ran Ran. have you ever been in a scenario where you had to like in panic get someplace like actually thought like life or death was on the line huh? i i was driving like a lunatic Kinda. when josh had his appendix appendicitis because you let it go so long. That like, was a rough night. And I, I knew yeah. something was off because like we were all at your house having a party and you were inside not hanging out with us. I'm like, something's wrong. Do you remember the early in the day too? He's like, gosh, I'm just having like, he just, he, he had so many tummy can't. troubles. He's like, yeah, I got a fart, but I can't. <laughs> and he's like, a... and then, and then I'm like, everybody, you got to leave. Like Andy, get everybody to leave. And at this point, he's like, 
moaning like, mm, I just have to fart. I just really need to fart. Like, mm. and then eventually you're crying. And I'm like, at that point it was too late. I'm like, get in the truck right now. And like, I was we, crying like our, a baby. Dude, like, that's, I can't imagine that pain. Yeah. Cause at the hospital, they gave me two doses of morphine and yeah. it didn't absolutely nothing. Yeah. You're like, Jeez. I'm still in pain. And also when you don't know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. That's scary because like, what if it burst? Yeah. What if yeah. I'm dying right now? Yeah, like yeah. that is yeah. so scary. I had, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't know why I thought of an Akon song <laughs> when I heard that. Woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, but I woke up when I was, uh, it was, I, I was just turned 18 and it was the middle of the night. And I was, my eyes were kind of like, you know, like fully. I was like, oh man, I got to go pee. But I'm like, I'm tired. So I just laid down and I was like, I just got to go bathroom. So I walk up and I'm rubbing my eyes because I can't see anything. I turn on the lights and it's like, oh man, what in the world? And I look at the mirror and I can't even, I just see blurry of me. I'm like, what in the world? And I look closer and I, my whole face, anaphylactic shock, <gasps> hives. My hand had doubled. My eyes were closed. Oh. I could barely hear. Whoa. My throat. I was like, I was like, I'm having an attack right now. And so, this literally, is scary. my sister's, uh, my niece was just one week old at that point. And so, my parents were out of town. I run to her. I fall. I'm tripping over the table and everything. She's like, get outside. And I'm running through get the outside. house. Yeah, she's I, like, she saw me. Because imagine, first of all, imagine <laughs> my face completely blown up. And I walk in and at 2 o'clock in the morning, flip the lights on with a newborn baby right there. And I'm like, <laughs> and like just <laughs> covered. And, that would uh, be terrifying. Dude, walk outside, fall down the stairs, hit the concrete. And I wake up. Like, yeah. It was like, it was you one of those fall? things. Dude, yeah, because I it was the middle of the night. I couldn't fa- see anything. And I was panicking because I thought. I was like, I didn't, I, I didn't, I had given up my EpiPen. Oh. It'd been years since I've had an attack. And so what is so funny? <laughs> Why is that? She just relates to falling she's down like, the stairs. She's like, get out yeah, of she's here. Like, no, 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 and, she, you, and you fall down. <laughs> Do you think she feels so guilty? No, she was, it was more of like a, it was like a get out, like go to the car, let's go. Like kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's get a, out of here. She made you go by yourself. <laughs> you trip. I just turned around, immediately run to the door, pass out. Oh. Oh, you fell down. The so stairs. you did, I, dude? You I passed out. I yeah, I fell down the stairs. I was in the truck. She'd help me into the truck. Their baby, car seat, and everything like that. My my two siblings are at home. They're left. They think um, well, they don't know what's happening. I they meet. They call the ambulance, and I don't remember that point. I passed out. Wow. And the car woke up in the ambulance with like uh, an EpiPen shot dude on top of me, like helping me like breathe and stuff. It was <gasps> terrifying, coded Whoa. and everything. But oh that gosh. was one of those things where- I've never heard this story. You, th- you think about like, like those moments you're on the way to the hospital, like I'm literally, like I'm I could dying. be I dying, dying right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, it's so scary. That is so dude, scary. Those situations though, like completely justify like panic driving and being crazy. I was yeah. in, you guys know where Destin, Florida is for mm-hmm. listeners who don't understand the distance between Destin and Niceville. It's across a bay. It's typically like a 30 minute drive, but I was with a friend. Um, we were like down on the beach and she got a call from her six year old sister and she said, mommy fell. And she oh, was geez. like, okay, what's, what, can I talk to mom? She's like, no. She's like, why not? She was like, she's not talking. <gasps> and she was like, what do you mean? She's like, she's asleep and she's like like literally this is the conversation that's happening she's like it goes on she's like see if she's breathing put your and she's like she's not moving she's not breathing oh my goodness and then my friend jumps up like and she's like hysterical at this point and i had a modified car and it's like for every guy who's modified a car you're all just living for the excuse to yeah. drive like a maniac mm-hmm. tell me about it <laughs> I did 130 <laughs> miles an hour Jeez. in that car, but we made a 30 minute drive in were 15 you, minutes. Were you listening to music? Nope. Was she okay? Same. The mom? Yeah, we got there in panic and then no one had called us to let us know that she had woken up. And so we got there to them just, everything was fine. But for like that brief moment, it was absolute chaos. Wait, uh, and did she go to the hospital or something? Yeah, afterwards. Oh, okay. But she was just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time she was just taking a nap or something. I saw this Whatever. dude on TikTok who said that he thinks every car should have a cop light and you're allowed to use it 10 times a year. <gasps> nice. And then once you're done with your 10, you can't use it until a new year. Yeah. But it's only for people that have to go poop so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like you're, you're in traffic, you got to poop. You slap that thing on and you're able to get home as fast as you want. That is mm-hmm. so funny. A, f- a friend of mine was uh, literally... Very similar drive. He was doing over 100. He had a very modified VW GTI. 
and the cop pulled him over and he was like, sir, I'm not going to argue. He was like, I, I've been on shift. I'm trying to get home to poop. Write me the ticket. I just need to leave right now. And the cop just started laughing. He was doing over a hundred and he was like, go Dang. ahead, go I home. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Did you, you see that ring camera? It was, uh, they were rushing home and the guy gets out of the truck real quick, yeah, and yeah, runs yeah, to the yeah. door and starts working. And he's like, it's locked. He like, you can hear the pain <laughs> yeah. in his voice. Cause he, he's like, his wife said his at the car and she's like taking her time, getting the groceries and stuff. And he's like, it's locked. Hurry. <laughs> like he's this big burly man yeah. just getting so like. Dude, pooping that, all the pork. That is that's a different type of pain though. <laughs> I, that happened this past weekend. Yeah. We're at the my parents' new property. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I said, Lily, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, can I make it home? I'm like, okay, it's passing a little bit. And then like we we're like, I don't know, eight minutes out. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I started sweating. And like the girls are like screaming in the back, and I'm just like, oh my gosh! Yeah. And like got home, slammed into the park, and just ran. And it was like the dumb and dumber moment. It was like, <laughs> yeah, just like. Rrr, 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 rrr. See, I have a toxic trait, thinking that I can control my bowels with my mind. <laughs> that like if, if I'm laying in <laughs> bed, and I'm like, and I feel, if I feel like, man, it's coming on, and I'm like, I don't want to get up in the middle of the night and take a dump. Like this yeah, is yeah. terrible. So I tell my mind, focus. You do, that too do not have to yeah. use the restroom right now. And I'm pretty sure it works. Guys. Like it's I just, think, I think you convince yourself. I think it's true. Like it's, you can make it happen because your brain controls everything. Man. Yeah. That's like the whole pain tolerance thing. It's like, that's where people can click it off. It's like when you realize there are certain things where you're choosing to embrace that pain and choosing to like mm-hmm. really push it out. It's like, I think your brain knows. But yeah. I did that last night. Yeah. Paige and I were getting ready for bed. I was like, I'm about to, you know what? I don't want to. I yeah. just want to go to sleep right but, now. But then I wonder if the reverse is opposite. If I don't need to poop, can I think myself into pooping? Mm. Can I force my body to start like just making poop? Yeah. <laughs> make poop, make poop. <laughs> it's kind um, of, we've, we've all tried like toilet yoga where you're just like sitting there and trying to like zen out, like get it going. Yeah, <laughs> it works. Yeah. Josh, Josh doesn't have to do that. No, it just comes right <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah. Um, give us a band song. There's a couple of them. I'm going to use the cup. Ooh. Ooh. Using the cup. The cup of using destiny. Using the cup. Using the cup of papers. I think this is the winner. Queen. Ooh. Okay. I see Andrew has a reel for us. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he, he does. does. And, and he's, he's going to be real good. good. I don't know. Andrew has a reel. He <laughs> has a video. Ma, 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 ma. All right. Mama. Andrew has a reel for us. It's a phone right in his hand. He's going to send it to all of us. And we'll watch it now. Because Andrew has a reel. (laughs) That's pretty good. All right. All right. So this is some ring cam footage. And the caption says, dude is selling a truck. I haven't sent it yet. It says, due to selling truck to the guy in the SUV pulling up, the truck was in perfect condition and sent. No vo- no volume, right? Or volume? Uh, Are we clicking it? You can put right. volume on. Ready? Set, go. Oh. <laughs> so he was selling he that was, truck? That That's guy so who funny. just pulled up Dude, was odds. there to buy the, buy I, the truck. I That's showed Lily this the other night. Unbelievable. That's, yeah, that's so more funny. I, did, I, I didn't realize they were selling the truck though. That is so that funny. That has to hurt so bad. These poor animals. Dude, I would Ooh. buy it just for that reason alone. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, I don't, yeah, you don't have to, I'm not going to. For those listening, that was a deer that jumped literally 50 feet and slammed into a truck and put a dent in it. Over two minivans. <laughs> Dude, that's insane <laughs> that's how they nuts. can jump like that. Yeah. And I'll have the kid literally just not a big deal. He's, He's just, just like, taking a look and like, okay, cool. I'm going to go shoot. Somebody's comment is, okay, deer. He's selling the truck for ten thousand dollars, but I've only got eight. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's just a hustle. Uh, that'd be such a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> like just a best friend that's a deer, and yeah. it just helps you get out of all types of pickles. You know, just. <laughs> do you see they're making a bar a Barbenheimer movie, like an actual like they're no. making fun of it, like we're like 
I think like a Barbie is trying to cure like a nuclear like war or that something. So I don't funny. like. That's so funny. Like a spoof. There, there's no good spoof movies anymore. Dude, no. we're, we're, there we're gonna get we're gonna get back to. It. Yeah, there was. How about Spinal Tap? You remember that movie? Nope. No. Oh my gosh, it was a mockumentary about a band called Spinal Tap. Okay. And it was made by made by Rob Reiner. It's a big film. Like it's a huge cult classic. But it looks so real. And it's like a band, and like that's the phrase turning up to 11 uh-huh. is from that because they're like, I was like, a lot of people like to, you know, say when we have a, a speaker box, he's like, turn it up all the way to 10. It's like, we're so hardcore that we turn it up to 11. And it turns over, and there's 11 much. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny. But one of the main reviews when it came out, what made it so big is a person says, great documentary, wonderful, like characters and everything. But maybe next time, try to do a band more people have heard of. So they thought it was wow. real. It convinced so that many people. So it was funny. Real. funny. So such so a great movie. And I think about like Austin Powers too. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't um, seen it. That's Golly. crazy, dude. We awesome need to make a list. So I'm good. making a list on Letterbox. See, of all don't movies. make the list because you guys will just no. be mad at me for not watching. No, I'm, you I'm, have to watch. I've them. accepted that you're not going to watch them, but I want everyone to see. These are the movies that Andrew hasn't seen. <laughs> throw you told me Anchorman too. the other day. Oh, yeah. Andrew. <laughs> That's why you like Pineapple <laughs> Express. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please. You all have right, to throw them out there. Anchorman. Anchorman's number have, one. I haven't seen it. That's the thing. There's some that you haven't seen that I've just completely forgot about. Ace Ventura? I uh, have okay. yeah both because uh, the, the second with, one's the better. one with Dan Marino. Okay, second one. The second better. one's better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you what is can you do your best impression of Anchorman doing his um ad libbing before the news and he says the children. He's like, the children. Yeah, but he's sitting there like the children. The children. Um, but speaking of Anchorman, okay, this is the connection from the UFO Vatican archive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um I came across this yesterday and it was the craziest coincidence. So I was watching the Y files and he was talking about the structure that was found in nineteen ninety four called the go uh shoot. <laughs> go um okay. Go <laughs> let me just see it. He found a structure or they found a structure called the go 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 blecky? Go go blecky? That sounds right. Go blecky? Goblecki, the Goblecki Tepe. All right. Okay. Goblecki Tepe. Yeah. I'll and just- it totally has thrown off archaeology. Because you know how we've talked about how we're finding new things yeah. every day that like go against the narrative Contradict, of like yeah. uh, what archaeology has always taught us and yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. So um, archaeology, they've been teaching for since I don't even know when that the Sumerians are the ones that had the first written language and they're like the, the first fully civilized group of people. Not Mesopotamia? Uh, Sumerians. I don't know. That's just what they're, that's just what it is. Um, but they found the Gobleki Tepe, which is a structure that dates back to 11,600 years ago. And mm. at that time, uh, these archaeologists are saying that was that was when man was like gathered hunters and like they lived in like mud huts and caves and stuff. Cool. Yeah. But this thing is this. I think they said it's a hundred thousand square foot temple, and it has these giant sixteen foot pillars in the middle of them, and they're all what? Well, I was trying to let her know that it is in Mesopotamia. Oh, was, oh, it exists in Mesopotamia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're both right. Sumerian. All right, cool. Yeah. We're both right. Sorry for throwing um, you off. But these pillars, they weigh up to like 10 tons each. And they have these intricate carvings on them, which totally goes against the fact that yeah. like, yeah. and this, so that this temple existed 6,000 years before the Sumerians. Oh boy. 6,000 years before the Sumerians and 7,000 years before Stonehenge and the pyramids. So this thing is. These are all predated before those. Yes. How is that possible? Listen to this. This is crazy. Do we have pictures of it? Uh, yeah. Do you want okay. to pull up uh, Gobleki Tepe? Good luck spelling it. G O B E K L I, and then T E P E. That's wild. Um, but the, it's in Turkey, right? Okay. Um, Thanksgiving. Where's Mesopotamia? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but so what they found that was so crazy is that the oldest pillar. That's where they dated it back to eleven thousand six hundred. Uh, years ago, but the newest pillar uh, is 10,500 years old. So this thing 
had been standing for yeah. over a thousand years. Wacky. <clears throat> okay, but here's where it gets crazy. It's um, like a little Stonehenge. Yeah, but it's like way more intricate. It's like there's like what they found there was like these four chambers and they're all <laughs> facing the star Sirius. But the the temples they like change direction because over a thousand years the star in the sky you know, changes because yeah. we're moving through the universe and stuff. Jeez. So they're like gradually moving these temples. And um, what's really crazy is that these um, carvings and stuff have these very intricate layouts of the star constellations. Yeah. Okay. And there's the star constellation. Uh, it's called like the Vol uh, vulture stone. Um, it like depicts the alignment of the stars and the sun. And it was almost a prediction, not it, almost, it was a prediction of when the flood was going to happen. So the flood in theory that the whole world talks about, every <gasps> culture has a flood story that happened 5,000 years ago. This pillar is 11,000. Yeah. And this is, this is the connection I'm getting to. And then some of the pillars had carvings <clears throat> of, um, Humans, animals, and then human and animal hybrids. Oh, yuck. Right? Yeah. A lot of what the Book of Enoch talks about. Yeah. Of like the teaching of the stars yeah. and the heavens and stuff, Before you know? Before the flood as well. Um, and then there's one pillar, and it's the only pillar that has a word inscribed on it. It's okay. the only one. And it just says God. <gasps> and it's just, it's the craziest looking stuff. And they said they've only unearthed. Um, five percent of this oh location. Oh my gosh! So, it, but it's so it's underground. You're saying it was very far underground. But here's where it gets crazy: is that it was buried intentionally, <gasps> so it was just hidden for who knows how long, well, maybe how ten thousand years. How do they know intent of the way that the dirt they can? Falls? You could the, like they showed like how it like um had like. I don't know how they can do it, but it showed that it was like basically like they're throwing in rocks and dirt to like cover this mm. thing yeah, up. To fill it all in. Um, Why would they do that? Maybe this, to protect it from the flood? What? Like to anchor it or something? No, I, I, they buried it well after it was made. No, but because they knew the flood was coming. No, it was. So this, this is, is what I'm getting, flood, this right? oh, okay. getting to. This is the connection that I made. So the Y files, he was talking all about this. You guys should go watch it. It's very fascinating. Um, but uh, I was listening to a podcast yesterday that one of my friends put me onto. It's called uh, Ancient Conspiracies. And right now she's going through the Book of Enoch and stuff. And I was listening to it literally after watching the Y Files on the way home. And she mentioned towards the end of it. So the Book of Enoch, for those who have listened to our stuff, it talks about the watchers coming down or the fallen angels and them basically perverting the ways of God. So, um, splicing DNA together to make these abominations of like, you can call it like mermaids and like all this kind of crazy stuff. They don't actually say mermaids, but fish and human. Yeah. Just up uh, there, just perverting God's creation. And then, but they taught the people, um, astrology and root cutting and all this crazy, crazy stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that was depicted on these pillars. Yeah. And they also said, which is crazy, that the oldest pillars, the carvings on them, like so the ones that are 11,600 year, years old, the carvings are way more intricate than the newer ones. So it's almost like they were so advanced a thousand years before. So it's like they digressed almost. Yeah. There's, yeah. And instead of it being a progression – it was almost like a, a regression. Yeah. Um, and you should look at, there's one carving where it's literally the stone and it has like a tiger or something like, like three dimensional popping off of it. It's wow. insane looking. The, the thing that I'm finding while I'm looking all of this up, is it's interesting is that they think that the temple was aligned with the stars and in the worship of a deity, but the deity they describe is maybe influenced by a bull. So it's a horned deity, which is really just... That's weird. Yeah, it's trippy. This is the connection I made. So she was talking about the um, Book of Enoch, and then towards the end of this episode, it was like episode 30 or something, she talked about the Book of Jubilee, which uh, 
was in the Bible at one point, but when the canon was made and yeah. stuff, it was taken out. Mm-hmm. And the book of Jubilee mm-hmm. was supposedly mm-hmm. written by Moses, like mm. his own hand. Um, but it was in uh, the book of Jubilee. Um, where was it? Book of Jubilee, chapter 8. And it talks about uh, the son of Ham. So yeah. it would be Noah's grandson. He, oh, crap, I just exited. Oh, here we go. So he, the, the flood was over, yeah. they're off the ark, and uh, the son of Ham was born. I forget his name. Let me look it up real quick because I think it's important. Turkey? <laughs> his name was uh, Canem, K-A-I-N-A-M, Canem. But it said, um, chapter 8, verse 2, And the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. Mm. So you'd imagine that they, they're they like the only people in this area. And yeah. so they're like, I can just go get whatever city I want, right? Yeah. So to seize himself a city, he found a writing which former generations had carved on the rock. And he read what was thereon and he transcribed it and sinned owning to it. For it contained the teachings of the watchers in accordance in which they used to observe the omens of the sun, the moon, the stars, and the wow. signs of heaven. So is he talking about that? That's where I'm like, is he talking about that? Listen to this. So that the Gobleke Tepe, tepe yeah. is in Turkey. Yes. They discovered what they are pretty darn sure was Noah's Ark was found in Turkey. <gasps> It's entirely possible. Entirely possible. Dude. And I looked it up. So the ark was discovered on a mountain called Mount Ariat. Mm -hmm. A-R-A-R-A-T. Ariat, I guess. Which is in Turkey. That's 404 miles away from these pillars. And so I'm like, did this dude walk this distance? You know, because like you would probably set up camp where your boat is, you know? So he went out to seek a city and found these these writings written on wow. stone that were from the watchers, these fallen angels. Mm-hmm. And he knew he wasn't going to tell Noah because Noah would lose his crap. Yeah. Because he they just, just the reason the flood came was because the fallen angels perverted all of mankind. Yeah. You know, it's like they. Except. Huh? For one man. Noah. Yeah. Um. But then, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to understand God's strategy, but you would think that he would ensure that something like that would be destroyed in the flood. But what if they came after? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, I'll, that, that's all I was getting to because yeah. it was a structure, right? Yeah. Um, and what I thought of like, we can't repeat what just happened with the fallen angels in this like evil that spread across the world, Mm -hmm. the whole place was buried intentionally. (gasps) I see. I wonder if he went back and covered it up. Well, no. Well, I mean, if there's a flood, if there's a worldwide flood, that's things probably getting covered up mostly anyway through. I'm saying that he, he potentially found these pillars after the flood. So it wasn't covered. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I think Noah, I'm just totally speculating because I have not read the book of Jubilee. Yeah. Found it out, said, we cannot repeat this process, and they went and buried this thing and said, we do not want anyone to ever see this ever again. Interesting. That's so my interesting. connection. Is that a good connection? I think, I mean, it's yeah. it's a I, good, it's I, not I, like you're stretching. I mean, like, these are dots that are out there that there's they've made no sense of, and yeah. I feel like that seems pretty probable. 400 miles away from where the ark is. It's far, yeah. but it's not that far. Are these things that are ancient. Yeah. And they have basically the same scribe yeah. of these images of the stars, the heavens, all this knowledge, these uh, crossbreeding of animals and humans. How and do you? That, how are they that advanced that early? That's the crazy thing. People like the fallen angels. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I don't understand how people don't question that. Yeah, the fact that we still don't know how the pyramids were completely made. Like that's all. And with that, like, there's so many things we're we're just not asking enough questions. But so I, just, I, I wonder was, if anyone's ever made that connection before. I don't know. We need to reach out to Y Files guy. Yeah. Because I don't know how much Bible stuff he does, but I'm like, I feel like we could, that could slowly start making connections if we're like, this is ancient confirmed literature. 
What does that mean? It's just, it's crazy that those stones, like it, he literally said he found a writing, which former generations. Yeah. So we're talking hundreds and hundreds of years before him had carved on the rock and it read what was there on, uh, blah, blah, blah. It contained the teachings of the watchers, the fallen angels, yeah. in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and the moon and the stars and all the signs of heaven. That's why. Literally what's on these pillars. But there was only one word? One word, which was God. God. So all of that information being conveyed is all our uh, supposition based on picture reading. But maps, they'd had maps. But- like of stars they had they have like they had other things yeah. besides their they had but their literally written the, language. The, the vulture stone which is that's what they call Maybe it i was looking at it that's that's a actual uh um what do you call it star pattern? constellation yeah constellation yeah. but they had just all these different constellations like the scorpion which is another constellation yeah. and like all this crazy stuff and i'm just like dude that that connection to me i'm just like that's wild yeah, yeah. But that 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 site was discovered in 1994, and they're like I think recently 2023 is when they unearthed like a ton more, and saw all these different pillars and stuff. Weird. And I'm just like, I love that we're getting more stuff. Yeah, like more stuff is coming out. Things that like that aren't being made new. It's like let's let's start, let's start looking at this stuff that's existed for years. Yeah, yeah. And start trying to get some answers. But there's they, this is only the Gobleke Tepe is only one site. They said around that whole area there's other little temples like it yeah. wow. but not as advanced because they're actually closer to us in timeline okay but one of them had um like beads like jewelry and stuff which um but it still doesn't add up to or line up with what archaeology said of like when they started to make jewelry and all that stuff but it's like precision work like bead work and stuff which is one of the fallen angels taught that knowledge too yeah, yeah golly man that's fun yeah that is super fun that's like that's something we got to keep our eye on we got to figure out the new updates of that place yeah how hard would it be to go go there i don't know go bleke tepe go bleke tepe hey you you were struggling at the beginning but that, now you got hey, it now i got You're it speaking <laughs> Latin, i got it baby <laughs> go bleke tepe yeah. go bleke tepe hey go bleke tepe i was reading it says the g is silent oh odd just kidding <laughs> <laughs> this is odd <laughs> Um, yeah, that's so scary. Dude, dude. I want that, but that's what I'm saying, dude. It's like all these, and that th- it's, again, that could be that, that what that one dude says, like, oh, you can make anything connect. That's a pretty good connection though. Yeah. If we're going yeah. based off of where the ark is found yeah. in Turkey, Location. 400 miles away are these pillars with stars, all this stuff. I'm just repeating everything I'm saying, no, but, but it's like, cool. it's just, it's fascinating that, um, Noah's grandson went to find a city, found this, and was afraid to share it with Noah because he knew that it was from the watchers. It was sinful what yeah. was on these things. I can't believe Ham found that in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just keep thinking of food. Um, <laughs> do you? Do I? Uh, the thing is, it's not too far fetched of an idea, like to just start building over new cities or covering up, because like that's literally what happened in New York, yeah, yeah. Chicago, like that's. And bro, do you see that uh, video? They were cra- uh, crawling underneath the manholes in Chicago, yeah, and they're going through the tunnels, and there's a whole cave down there with artifacts. Whoa! Like yeah. frames and like all like this stuff, and like and it's just laying around with a bunch of beer cans and stuff, but it's all inside of this tiny cave, and I'm like, there's that's so cool. much that we just. We're like, we're not going to yeah. deal with it. It's yeah. easier just to start from scratch. Let's cover it up and move on. All also, I want to say this too, with the, with the flood stuff, it was this year, I think they discovered that, um, there is a ocean under the earth's crust that is larger than our surface water o- ocean. And it, it, like, when you read scripture of like God talking about like opening the, like the, the water poured out from from the earth, yeah. like the gates were open from heaven and from the earth, and like water just gushed up. Yeah, I'm like, dude, More there's validation. there's so many things coming out that give validity to everything in scripture. Mm-hmm. Also, the flood thing isn't it crazy that it only it seems like recently people are like, yeah, well, the flood definitely happened because every culture talks about it. There's but a like it flood, seems like yeah. ten years ago, yeah, yeah, people yeah. would be like. No, that's so, yeah, that didn't happen. It's theorized. That's just in your Bible. But mm. in the threat, like people that are not Christians 
like Graham Hancock and like all these people, they're like, yeah, every culture has a story of a flood yeah. that happened at the exact uh, exact same time. Floods, dragons, both of them existed. Yeah. Flood and dragon. Flood and dragon. That's actually a really good band name. Nice. Yeah, Did, have you guys seen the uh, the thing about clams on the top of Mount Everest? You're the telling fo- me, but so there's there's fossilized clams that they found on the top of Mount Everest, but they're all fossilized, closed. And if you've like ever cooked clams, what happens when they die? They always open. open. Yeah. So these things were quickly buried in, as they were alive and fossilized, which implies that they died very quickly, covered up at the top of Mount Everest or somewhere else. And then there was enough force to raise them from where they were and place them. Wow. You know what's crazy about crazy. the flood, too, is like the theory of, they called it the Younger Dryas era or something. Yeah. Which is basically like it was the Ice Age, right? Or like the. Like the northern hemisphere was typically like all ice and the southern was lush jungle and stuff. So that's where they get the Antarctica used to be. A jungle, yeah. Like a jungle. <clears throat> they said that the flood, when it happened, they predict that a giant meteor came down, hit the ice, and it basically instantly melted it all, and which caused a worldwide flood. Yeah. See, that's the crazy thing is like we were talking about how Lake Neos, how it turned red after. Yeah. Like the scientists, like that's what they were looking at. Like, obviously this is the problem. We didn't say that on the podcast. We said it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. So because the the lake turned red, very red, murky. And it was um, so that they obviously investigated that. And they realized because there's a volcano underneath and it releases stuff. But we always think about when we think of like the, the, the plagues in Egypt or any type of miracle that we read about in history or in the Bible. We always think it's like this magical thing that happens Mm -hmm. when it's like in reality, it's like, why wouldn't. God just used nature. Yeah. yeah. His own to, creation. Yeah, it's like his own yeah. creation. It's like, so frogs aren't magically maybe like, boop, 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 like maybe yeah. like, maybe they just all migrated to that area or like it took a little, like, oh, who knows? Like yeah. what happened? And so why couldn't there like the asteroid be something that yeah. was sent or, you know, like yeah. we talk about um the place, the melting of the walls. It's mm-hmm. like Babylon. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what if that was like a heavenly fire, like, or something like whatever, like God or describes as like, you know, like I'm taking out Sodom yeah. and Gomorrah. It's like, or these angels. Who, what did that using, look like yeah. physically? You know, it's I find scary. it interesting with the the them talking about these star people, aliens, whatever, mm-hmm. having nuclear weapons. Is that? Do you remember in America some of the first sightings for UFOs was when we tested the atom bomb? Yeah, right. it came right after Roswell and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's almost like you almost wonder if the knowledge of creating the atom bomb or the nuclear bomb was Came from, from yeah the fallen angels oof i've never thought about that that's kind of scary yeah that's wild right that's super scary that makes yeah. bombs so much more terrifying yeah well because that, that it's literally that like would... it's a it's a dark powerful terrible thing yeah, like an evil would, thing it could, yeah it could destroy the whole world mm-hmm. yeah we're going to talk about something kind of dark in the half episode for <laughs> patreons but i have a connection to that cool all right. That's half funny. episode, 64 and a half. Go to patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies to hear Lily's creepy story. Yep. Super creepy. Yeah. And like I don't know if Mary you guys Dugan can see this, but the pillar behind Andrew, I don't know if, can they see it? Yeah, they of? definitely can. Yeah. We have the names written down of our, patrons. Some, our Patreons. You should be able to. Um, can you see them? Uh, with our top two tiers, um, the welcome to the show and the tinfoil hat tier, they get their names Forever placed inside our studio. Boom, boom. Even if we move studios one day, we are taking that thing. We're with taking us. it with we're us. Taking yeah. a pillar. A hundred. This building might collapse, but that's okay because it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. That's something I'm willing to die for. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, make sure to like this video, review it. I don't know why I always say like it. Yeah, like it. Yeah, like it, guys. Yeah. Share it. Also, Comment. the biggest thing is we're creeping up on a million. We yes. just hit 800K. Congratulations, team. Uh, we're trying to get a million before the end of the year. Have to get a million before the end Please of the year. Please share really hoping. this and tell everyone you know to subscribe to Sunday Cool on YouTube. Yes. We're so close. If, yes. you, if we don't hit a million by the end of the year, Danny said he's going to fire us. Dang. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And I, I went through the analytics. For a million views, 700,000 are not subscribed. Come on. Why oh, aren't you wow. doing it? Commit. Yeah. Everyone loves the shorts and the reels, which I get it. They're yeah. great. We love them too. But this is a show. Go on all the shorts. If you see any of our shorts, type in. If you're watching this, please go subscribe to Sunday Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Start Sunday start nights. a trend. Uh, five stars and everything, please. Hey, and listen, please, 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 please. Um, you know this from the ad, but there's some stuff happening around Black Friday, so check it out, sundaycoolswag.com. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Toodle. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. look at you. You're oh, so hi. big. Hi. Bye. Look at you. Oh, oh. Oh. He's not bothering you, is he? Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Be nice to the nice people. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! Look at these guys. I can't see. Oh, oh cute. Well, why? If I can't see it, why do you hide it? She's zooming. Oh, you put it down. Like, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a glare on it.